Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm super excited to bring you this video. Um, we are touring Sand Hills, Two Notch Road, and just the Northeast shopping areas. So if you are thinking about relocating to our area or maybe you're PCSing to Fort Jackson um, or relocating here for a job or just want to move down south, well, if you are coming to the northeast side of Columbia or its surrounding areas, then you're going to want to stay tuned in to this video as we show you the main shopping areas that are going to be available to you if you live in this community. So first up is Sand Hills Shopping Center. This area provides grocery stores, clothing stores, um, restaurants, movie theaters, there's some apartment living as well. There's a library. Sand Hills um, also offers Sam's Club. Um, you're going to have some of your big box department stores like Home Depot, a few furniture stores. So, so just anything you can imagine is going to be in this space and in close proximity if you live on northeast side of Columbia. The really cool thing about uh, the village of Sand Hills is, um, you know, you could park, walk, there's sidewalks, there's restaurants. You really could just spend a day out here of shopping and dining. Um, it's a great place for date night or to bring friends and family that are maybe visiting you for the first time. So lots of food options, lots of stores to shop and it's really just a one-stop shop area. Cameron and I love the Lowe's grocery store here. Um, they have what's called a beer den. You can pop in, grab a beer, grab a glass of wine or a mimosa and do your grocery shopping. So it's really cool. We have really grown to love shopping in that uh, grocery store and it makes it nice that we can pop in and grab a quick drink as we shop around. We have a lot of people that reach out to us about relocating, about PCSing, and so we thought this video would be very helpful to give you an idea of what to expect when you're moving to the area. So if you're thinking about Blythewood, Sand Hills is about 15 minutes from Blythewood, depending on where you are, and Blythewood could be closer to 20 minutes. Um, if you're in Elgin or Northeast Columbia, you're going to be about 5 to 10 minutes, um, 15 max if you're deeper into Elgin. But if you're on that Columbia-Elgin line, then you would be about 10 minutes away. One thing I do want to share about Sand Hills is this uh, shopping center uh, opened up about 10 years ago. And at the time, there was a ton of stores, lots of shopping. Um, and it went through a period where I'm not sure what happened, but a lot of businesses left. And so at this moment, we're kind of revitalizing the area newer restaurants are coming to sand hills newer stores are opening up so you know if you're just now moving here or you're moving here pretty soon and you maybe have the chance to go out to sand hills and you're wondering what happened that's pretty much what happened but we are optimistic and excited to see all the new places that are opening up here so don't worry i think it can only go up from here so the more people that move to our area, I think the more businesses will want to open up in Sand Hills. So that is pretty exciting. This little strip right here is probably one of my favorite strips. It has Home Goods, TJ Maxx, um, there's a shoe store, Old Navy. Um, and then right behind it is uh, a place where I spend a lot of time, and that is Smoothie King and Burn Boot Camp. <laughs> so, um, Lots of really cool things. Sam's Club is right behind there as well. Um, and 
you have the gas station for Sam's Club as well. There's a Plex uh, trampoline park that's really cool. They have bouncy houses, trampoline park, laser tag, uh, arcade, indoor soccer complex. So it's a really cool area to be in. And as I mentioned, Burning Boot Camp, there's also Move Fitness, um, a couple of big box furniture stores. And then right outside of Sand Hills, you have access to Two Notch Road. Now, the really cool thing about Two Notch is Two Notch spans all the way from Elgin, Lugoff Elgin, into downtown Columbia. So you could take a straight shot from Elgin into downtown. Now, is that the best route? Maybe not. Um, you're going to get stopped by lights here and there so it may take longer i would say the interstate would probably be the fastest way to get downtown but still pretty cool that two notch expands all the way from lugoff elgin to columbia downtown columbia so on two notch you'll find a lot more of those big box stores um target one of my favorite stores to shop in i'm sure lots of you guys can relate um banks of course it's just pretty much, um, you know, a main street, if you will, that um, offers businesses, restaurants, as well as some communities. Another great thing about Two Notch is you can access both Interstates 77 and 20 right off of Two Notch. So, um, you know, if you live closer to the area, you won't have an issue with being able to get on the interstate and get where you need to be rather quickly. Rush's is a really great restaurant, has great fried chicken. Their burgers are amazing. I personally love their chili hot dogs. Um, and we do a lot of family meals. Uh, from rushes so if you don't have it in your area and you're coming to South Carolina make sure you check it out Tiffany's bakery is another great place for brunch for lunch um, they have amazing amazing desserts um, so make sure you check out Tiffany's bakery on two notch also on two notch you'll find Walmart again a lot of big box stores office depot Buffalo Wild Wings, Applebee's, some other local cool spots. Um, there's a bowling alley on Two Notch. The post office, I mean, Two Notch is just, you'll be able to find whatever you need on Two Notch. <laughs> If you're checking out this video, I'm curious what is bringing you to Columbia, South Carolina? What is making you want to move to our area? I would love to know. Please make sure you drop the comments below and we will respond and check them out as soon as we can. If this is your first time tuning in, please make sure that you subscribe. We appreciate all the support and we want you to be the first to know when we post videos like this one. So also hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we do drop new videos. Now Spark Sparkleberry um, will take you to Clemson Road as well as Two Notch. So it links the two. And Sparkleberry is a great area that has a few more restaurants and shops available so it's definitely a space to check out one of our favorite uh, restaurants in this area is henry's sports bar um, they have really really good uh, sandwiches we love their philly cheesesteak as well as the chicken philly amazing make sure you check it out uh, jr cashes is a really nice bar they do uh, specials all week long Trevenia's is also here and they are Italian cuisine, very, very good Italian food. And there's also a new uh, restaurant that we have fell in love with recently called Coco and Beer. 
Um, they have a really cool take on Mexican, great size portions. The drinks are really good and it's a nice family vibe. So this particular shopping center puts you in close proximity to Wood Creek Farms as well as Wildwood. So if you're interested in either of those communities, you'll be able to pop out to Sparkleberry Crossing in five to seven minutes. So this is one of the things that I love as we reside in Wood Creek Farms and we're able to just kind of pop out to Sparkleberry every once in a while for a date night and not have to go too far um, to do so. Well guys, as this tour wraps up, I just want to again say thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. And we hope that we can help you in any way that we can when it comes to relocating to Columbia, South Carolina and the surrounding areas. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information will be in the description area of this video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, bye.